Good morning, friends. It is time for our Tuesday sing along with Cantor Melissa. So I, oh, we just started. I was already talking. I'm still getting used to the new format here that they, since they did their update on Facebook. Good morning, friends. It's time for our Tuesday morning sing along with Cantor Melissa. So I hope that you are all doing well and enjoying Passover, our festival of freedom still. We still have one more day to go. So I hope that that's been an enjoyable time for you and enjoying some of the spring weather, although it's a little bit chilly today. Um, last week, we went um, live with Seder songs for Passover. And uh, because it is still Passover and we're in a time period called Chol HaMoed, which are what are called the intermediate days, the in-between days, the days when it's not holy or festival. Tomorrow we will have our concluding day of Passover when it is a festival holy day. Um, and um, during this time, I figured that we would sing some other special songs that are not Seder related, but they are songs that are related to the festival of Passover. And like our other holidays, uh, we always have songs that are um, that are related to the holiday and special for the holiday. And this is a type of holiday that is called a Chag. And a Chag is a holiday where in the ancient times, our people would have traveled very far to go to Jerusalem to make special blessings at the ancient holy temple. And we have another holiday coming up soon called Shavuot, where we also would do the same. And then in the fall, we have our holiday of Sukkot, where we would do the same. So these three holidays, Sukkot, Shavuot, and Pesach, are our three festival holidays, our three festive Chagim, where we would make these special blessings. And there are special songs and prayers that are associated with these special holidays. And so one of the special, there's two pieces um, that we're going to look at today. And we're going to look at songs that are coming from the book of Song of Songs. And that is called in Hebrew, Shir HaShirim. Shir is song, and Shirim is the plural songs. And so you get Song of Songs, and these are one of our sacred books. They say that it was written by King Solomon. And if you look at the poetry, it is very romantic poetry. It's as though two lovers, people who really love each other, are talking together. And um, some people say that it's actually a love poetry, a love story between God and us and that we are having love poetry, that we are writing love songs to God. And during this time of Pesach, that's very appropriate because we have just left Egypt. We have been on our exodus and now on our journey of freedom. And so we are very, very much grateful and in love with God. So we sing these songs of love, song of songs. And so there are many different versions that people have written. So I thought that we would begin with a couple of different versions from song of songs. And one of the most famous ones is called Do Di Li. And these words might sound familiar to you because they are the words that many couples will say to one another underneath the chuppah, the wedding canopy, when they get married. And so these uh, words are very, very beautiful. They say, my beloved is mine and I am my beloved. And so we'll sing together one version and then we'll sing a different version. And so these words are, do di li va ani lo ha ro -e. So if you know it, please join with me. And otherwise, just sit back, take a brain break, and enjoy the music. Thank you. 
sounds very romantic. But listen to this other version, same exact words, but this is more of a freilich type of song, one that you could dance to, um, more like a hora. And this one comes from an Israeli composer. It's very popular. People sing it at summer camps, um, maybe at a sing-along called a kimsutz that you would sing in a summer camp environment. So it sounds like this. <laughs> very different and um, have a very different feel, but they have the same message and the same words. Um, and so just two different um, feelings. So another um, section of Song of Songs from Shir Hashirim, um, and this one is an Eastern melody from what is known as the Orient. Um, and this one, um, these words um, come from a later part of it. And it says, it is a time for lovers. Come into my garden, my bride. The vines are blossoming and the pomegranates are budding. Again, very romantic poetry. And it really is an expression of our love for God. So this is um, called Eight Dodim. And again, this is a, an Eastern melody. You'll hear the, um, the mode that's there. With, um, with, uh, it has a particular sound to it. So listen carefully for that. So it's very, um, very interesting. Maybe it's Persian um, or somewhere from over there. So I like that one. It has a different feel to it. So the other um, type of songs that we sing during this time of Pesach and our other festivals um, are what are called Hallel. And Hallel comes from a word that you all know called Hallelujah. And Hallelujah is two words that are put together. And the one word is Hallel and, um, or Hallelu, and that means to praise. And Yah is another namesake for God. And when you put the two together, you get Hallelujah, praise be to God. And during these festivals, our Chagim, we say special blessings, special praises, special poetry, again, to show our expression of praise to God because these are our special festivals throughout the year. And our these praises, these songs of, to God come from the book of Psalms. And you may know that there are 150 Psalms and we read them in our liturgy every day in our prayers. Um, but there are special um, ones that are reserved for our Hagim that we recite and that are collectively called Hallel. So, um, 
uh, we sing them uh, during services and we'll uh, sing some tomorrow morning when we have our um, Pesach uh, festival service in the morning. Um, but I thought that we would look at a couple because these are very significant during this time. And so I thought we would look this morning at Hodu Ladonai. And all this means is give thanks to God. Hodu comes from the from the root word to give thanks. Hoda'a, Hodu, this all. And even if you say in Israel to somebody, Toda, it comes from the same Shoresh, from the same root. Hodu, to give thanks. And it's an expression of gratitude. So that's also what we do during our festivals. So this is a um, very simple melody, and you can even join me along at home. It's very simple because all the, the only words that you need to know are hodu, ladonai. That's all. So you join me. This is the first part. Hodu, ladonai, hodu, ladonai. So that is a very simple um, expression of praise, of gratitude. Hodu ladonai, give thanks to God. So a very popular one, especially associated with Pesach, uh, comes from two sources. And uh, one is from Psalm 118, which we do recite in um, our festival, Hallel. And it also comes from the book of Exodus in chapter 15 in a section of the Torah in what is known as Shirat Hayam, the song at the sea, which we will also chant tomorrow morning. That's the special Torah Parsha uh, reserved for seventh day of Pesach. And uh, this is the song that Miriam and Aaron and Moses sang at the shores of the sea at the moment of our liberation. And uh, so it's a very beautiful section of Torah. And if you've ever seen it in the, um, in the actual Torah scroll, it's very beautifully um, situated in a very different way than the rest of it is written, where it's, um, it's alternated with um, its verse. It's very beautiful. So the second verse, um, is, um, which again is also found in Psalm 118, says, Ozi v'zimrat ya v'ayhili lishu'a, which says, God is my strength. I sing to God who rescued me. So it's a very perfect psalm for this time of year at Pesach especially. So we'll sing together, Ozi v'zimrat ya. And this is a very popular and beautiful modern melody by, um, by um, contemporary um, composer Rabbi Shefa Gold.
I love that one. That one is so beautiful. It makes me feel very comforted. And so before um, we end our song session today, um, I wanted to um, leave you with parting words, um, a parting song. And um, so I wanted to leave you with the words from Yevarachacha, which comes from, of course, <clears throat> the, um, the threefold benediction that was given by the Kohanim, the, the high priest um, in the ancient temple. Um, and, um, and this is common among all of our faiths, um, uh, not singular just to um, our faith. Um, and it says, may God bless you and protect you and may God's countenance shine upon you and be gracious and may God show you kindness and grant you peace. And in our tradition, when we make this threefold benediction at each, at the end of each of those lines, uh, which begin we say um, we say this expression of response, which is Kain Yehi Ratzon, which means may it be God's will, which is our acceptance of this benediction of this blessing. So um, this is a melody um, by my um, by my friends and colleague Kazan Ofer Barnoy. And um, it's a beautiful melody that we've uh, introduced to our shul and we sing it um, together at many occasions um, on the high holidays and such. And um, so please, I know that you know the refrain at home, so please join in with the Kenyi Hirat Son. Um, it was a custom um, during ancient times and during this time still, people will go to the Kotel, to the Western Wall in Jerusalem, even today, to make this a very blessing during the time of Passover. And so people will do that still. And um, so to know that we are also sharing in this tradition still in 2020 is amazing to connect the generations, Lador Vador um, for all generations is, um, is unbelievable to me. So I wanted to leave us with this blessing, with this song so that we too can partake in this blessing during this time of festival. So um, we will sing together, Yabarachacha. Um, I'll sing the, um, the verses, and please at home join me in the Kim Yehi Ratzon, and, um, and, we'll, and, and we'll leave together with blessing. <coughs> together can you hear ratson may it be god's will and i'll add may it be god's will that we are once again together in person and um and smiling upon each other face to face panim al panim so next tuesday i will see you same place at 10 30 for our tuesday sing-along we will have a theme of Courage and honor in um, honor of Yom HaShoah Uhuvura, our um, day of recognizing our Holocaust survivors and heroes. And the following week on April 28th, we will have Israeli songs to recognize Yom HaAtzma'ut, Israel's Independence Day. So I will hope to have song sheets available for those special days. 
and uh, that way you can join me at home. This has been wonderful to see you um, during this Chol HaMoed Pesach, and I'll invite you to join me and Rabbi Dennis and Rabbi Jenny tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. on Zoom, and you can find the information on our website, Facebook page, and uh, we will have our seventh day Pesach festival service as well as Yisker. So uh, please join us 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, and um, we'll see you soon. We'll see you virtually. Bye. Have a great day.